Welcome to the range guys. We're here today to try the first shots of the Shadow Systems MR920. I'll be doing a review on this here in a couple months. But I wanted to show you this pistol real quick and get some lead down range. Let's take a look at it. All right, so in our generic cardboard box with the cool Shadow Systems logo is a gun rug, which is something I always love to see. Up here on the top, this is all the optics mounting stuff that comes with it. And in the gun rug, we got, got a PMAG 15, got some more back straps, and it looks like a punch to take out the mag well. They've given me some Lucas oil. This is good oil, this is what I use. So since they gave me some oil, I'm gonna oil up the pistol before we shoot it. But the moment you've all been waiting for is the MR920. So there it is. It is a Glock Gen 3 style firearm. Uh, the slide work is exceptional. It feels really good. The trigger it comes with is all aluminum. Both the trigger safety and the shoe are aluminum. It uses a polymer mag catch, but that's good considering the type of magazines it use are polymer, so you kind of want that. A very uh, flush feeling slide catch there, so, but it's still functional. And we got the threaded barrel model with the very good uh, Mariglo front sight with a blacked out rear. Well, let's get the sucker loaded up and see how she does. All right, got the 920. Just gonna see where it's sighted in. All right, I've got a feel for where the point of impact is, so we're gonna try some steel. Real good, I like the way the grip is shaped. Like it really, the grip like locks in geometrically. Like the pressure from this magwell and the beaver tail that kind of sticks out the back, it really kind of locks in. It is a soft shooting gun. I'm pretty surprised that it shoots like a bigger gun to use the cliche that everyone uses talking about a pistol. But uh, so far it's pretty good. Let's see if we can get some head box shots here. I'm not an iron shooter, but that wasn't bad. Let's take a look. So from about 12 yards, I was able to keep almost all of them in the A box. That one kind of got away from me, but it's pretty close, but it's pretty acceptable for a pistol that I've never used before, so. Want to talk about the trigger real quick. This trigger is an all aluminum shoe with an aluminum safety. It's actually really good out of the box. Like people always say like, oh, it's pretty good for a stock trigger, but it's, I don't know, less than four pounds probably. And it has a pretty soft wall, but it's, I mean, it, it's creep like a striker pistol would have, but it releases very cleanly and the reset is pretty darn short. So the total trigger travel is actually very manageable. Really liking the trigger. Get you guys a, let's do a little rapid fire here. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. So the grip is not exactly the same as a Glock. If you are a Glock shooter, which I am, it kind of, the, I'm, I'm learning how to balance my grip a little bit differently due to this frame. But once you actually figure out how you need to be putting the force on the gun, it's a very, very soft shooter. The grip is working pretty doggone good. The back straps are a bit different where they don't actually come up all the way and affect the length of pull. They actually stop about right there. It's a pretty good blend from what the rest of the frame is. But the texturing does bite onto your hand pretty good. It's a pretty dry day, although I am sweating since uh, it's starting to be late spring here in Texas. And it's uh, the texture's working great, especially on the front and back straps. I really like that. The texture on the side straps isn't quite as aggressive. Mess 
around with a reload try out the magwell they give you a, a carry magwell which is nice i don't have any mag pouches with me today just here to shoot but we'll see what we can do from the waistband here it's pretty easy magwell to hit again with the magwell Be nice to have a mag pouch that I could index on properly, but even still with my ham-fisted reloads, I have no problem shooting it into the magwell. It's, uh, you can't really miss it, honestly. It's molded really well. What's interesting is that the way the magwell sits in, it actually covers all of the frame, which has a bit of a flare and accepts the magwell. So it creates a very seamless funnel into the magazine. A lot of these guns, come with these scab on magwells that there's a nice ledge where the magwell ends, but that's not the case here. This is a fine detail that they looked at, but it's pretty cool. All right, back at the 25 yard line. Let's see how it goes. Six for six at the 25 with the shadow systems. I'm gonna do some doubles just to see if I can get a handle on how this thing is recoiling. Can't help it because I'm a competition shooter. We're at about the 15 yard line. Let's go see how it looked. Looks pretty good. There's one Charlie up there. There's an Alpha, but that's uh, up on the upper A zone, but that's not from what we just did. Not bad at all from 15 yards. Um, we got one Charlie that kind of went out there, but you can see that's where the first shot went. And then these would be the second shots kind of just above and just below. So it's trying to figure out the timing of the gun. It does have a full steel uh, guide rod there so it shoots very soft so that's the first 200 rounds on the mr920 and i have to say i'm really enjoying it so far the grip texture really impressed me the grip geometry worked real good and the trigger is pretty easy to get used to i was enjoying the trigger quite a lot and the slide work it's pretty spectacular a lot of value coming and i can't wait to shoot this some more and get you guys a full review on it post up any questions or comments you might want to see addressed in the full review in the comments below I appreciate you guys. Please go ahead and like and subscribe if you hadn't done so already. See you guys. I don't know what the f I know.